Hi guys. Okay, this is sort of going to be a different type of video for me. Um, I was sent this new style of book to me, new to me. Um, it is called Dot Picks, and they were so great to send this to me to review for you guys. It's been a minute. I'm very sorry that I'm just now getting to it, but here we are. Okay, so this is a little bit of a different style than just like your one color things. So it has 20 pictures. Guys, these take a very long time and they're very detailed. So you guys are going to see in a minute. So it says you can do them in a diamond formation, a diagonal direction, which is probably the best to keep up with like the clustered areas you'll see. So it says how to dot clustered areas, fill in the circles, not the squares. So everything that's mish and smush together, you'll see in a minute, you'll color in and then there's the little squares that you leave blank on the inside. So you guys will see that in my picture. It gives you suggestions here. Use a fine non-bleed marker if possible. So place a dividing sheet underneath just in case. If you need to refer to finished pictures, they're in the back of the book. And it just tells you, it does recommend like a diagonal direction just so you can keep up with the um, pattern. So this is the one that I did. And I did it in pink, obviously. But you can see these clusters. There are tiny, tiny dots you're not gonna be able to see within those that you don't fill in. So if your pen or your marker is gonna bleed, you don't want to use that because this is so tiny. This is obviously a squared book, but it's really, really tiny dots. So also with these, they give you like a little quote over here that gives you a hint or a clue as to what the picture you are coloring is. Um, but again, if you want to see, you'll, you could go back to the back of the book with the um, uh, finished pages. Also, you can... And it is recommended to use darker colors. But to me, I still think that the giraffe turned out pretty well in this pink color. I started on the next page. Again, haven't finished it. You can tell what that one is. Mirror cat type of thing. So I am going to flip to the back. If you guys don't want to see the answers, um, I am going to flip to them now. So, all right. Sneaky peek. Those are the ones that you get. I don't know if you guys can really see it very good, but again, different types of animals. Um, they also have their first two books that they came out with. One is dog specific and one is cat specific. So, and then of course it has a page for their social medias. Um, but yeah, I just, honestly, I really, the process was very fun. It did take me a long time. I just did it, you know, I did like a little bit and then I'd go and do a little more. So that is why it's taken me so long to get to. But yeah, so again, like I work in the diagonal formation like it recommends and it turns out beautiful. So I want to thank again Dot Picks for sending me this amazing book. Um, I hope that I can do more in this very, very soon. But until then, I will see you guys in the next one.